All right, what is going on guys? Hope you're all doing well. So today's video, we're gonna be going over how to rig different finesse style stick baits, worm style baits, TPE baits specifically. A TPE is a little bit different to the material that normal soft plastics are made. It's super stretchy as you can see. Uh, super buoyant, so these baits actually float. And yeah, very strong. You get a little bit of a different presentation from it than you do with other baits. Obviously like the most famous original TP style one is like the Z-Man baits. Um, there's loads of different brands now that do them. Loads of different varieties. So I'm gonna show you five different ways how to rig them. I'm gonna try and make this super quick and hopefully you guys learn something. And then I'm actually gonna go perch fishing after this because it's finally stopped raining. And yeah, so we're gonna make this quick. Hopefully you guys learn a little bit from this. Um, so yeah, obviously there's more ways to rig these, but these are just like five ways that I'll pretty much like to do it. So number one, the first way, the most common way that people rig TP lures or, you know, stick baits, like, you know, your TRDs and stuff like that is the classic Ned rig. Using Ned rig jig, he jig head for this, typically with the flat bottom. So with it being a floating bait, it'll stand up like so. Uh, you can get away with normal jig heads, especially if the, the bottom is a little bit silty, a little bit soft, the jig head will go into the bottom. Um, if you're fishing a hard bottom, you know, they'll stand up a little bit better with the flat on the jig head. So, yeah, we'll just rig this on real quick, just using the little finesse fillet tube for this. Fits these perfectly. So, with TPE, super stretchy. So you kind of rig them a little different. It takes a little bit of getting used to pulling them down, but it's a classic little Ned rig, just with a little bit of a skirt. So it gives it a little bit more vibration than you would with a normal TRD. As you can see, I'm barely even moving my hand. I've just got a little bit of a shake cause I'm, you know, shaky, but, but yeah, that'll stand up on the bottom. Doesn't look like much if you're not used to seeing this, but the perch love it. Pike actually like these as well. Xander, anything will take these. You can get a bream on stuff like this, but yeah, classic, the Ned rig, super easy to fish. Just hop it along the bottom, drag it along the bottom, make sure you leave some paws where that's just stood, the little tentacles will quiver, or you know the end of the bait will quiver if it's not got tentacles. And yeah, super finesse for when the fish are a little bit slower, they're not like chasing or anything like that. You know, fish it slow, you can pause this for like 10 seconds on the bottom and get a bite. Like there's been times before where I've like, cast it out, left it on the bottom, just like, you know, I've been adjusting my bag or something, I've had a take, it's like, it's wild, but <laughs> yeah, super cool rig for when the fish are slow. So that's the first way to rig them, classic Ned rig. So next on, we're gonna switch baits, we're gonna go with the press fillet worm, it's a little bit longer, thinner, still floating, still super stretchy. I'm gonna cover two rigs at once here, and this is going to be, if you're fishing somewhere a little bit more weedy, and you don't want to get snagged every five minutes. You can actually fish TP baits on a Texas rig. Like so, I like to have my Texas rig super simple. I don't bother with stops or beads or anything. You just got your tungsten bullet weight there on some fluorocarbon. Offset hook, this is a size 1.0 for this bait, like so. And again, fish these. The good thing about a Texas rig that I like the bait will hit down first and then this will suspend a little bit and then slowly as your line tightens it'll bring it down so you get a slightly different presentation when you're hopping it along the bottom it'll rise and fall rise and fall still with the tail being floated up this because of the weight of the hook it's slightly bigger hook it won't stand up perfectly straight but the tail will stick up a bit more like this so it's like again slightly different presentation obviously you need to like tank test to see how the baits look with the uh, the hook that you're using. You know, if you're using, a, I like to use like super thin gauge hooks. If you're using a bit of a thicker gauge hook, that slight weight can stop it from floating. So little things you've got to bear in mind like that. And then obviously you can rig these Carolina as well, where the bait's pegged, maybe a, however far you want really, maybe about a foot from the bait. So the bait, the weight will be on the bottom and the weight, the bait will be suspended like this, about a foot above the bottom like that. Totally different presentation again. Again, fish it slow, keeps it above the weeds. Especially if you're fishing a river, this will just like trickle down, just like floating, just like sort of naturally in the current, just sort of kept 
at that certain depth by the weight and uh, yeah two different presentations and obviously with well not obviously but something you need to remember when using TP lures when you get a bite and you miss it and you set the hook they tend to slip down like this which can be a little bit annoying like all TP lures do it's just the, the material is a little bit more slick on the hook so you can glue it I guess if you want at the top but just if you miss a fish just wind it back in because it will probably be messed up and you don't want to just be wasting your time on a cast with it messed up off an offset hook like this so that's method two and three I guess how to rig it the next one I'm not actually going to show you because everyone knows what it looks like but it's a drop shot rig again it's a unique presentation on a drop shot rig with it being a floating bait when you when you sort of like twitch the drop shot you'll you'll bring the bait down with the twitch and it'll slowly rise back to where it came from so you'll twitch switch it down and it'll slow rise like that different presentation than if you're using a a normal you know sinking bait or just normal soft plastic on a drop shot you know, that slow rise is something that the fish won't see that often gives them an opportunity to strike so while that's slow rising you'll tend to get a lot of hits when you're fishing a tp bait on a drop shot so yeah that's number four obviously i don't know why i just showed that because that's not a drop shot rig you all know what a drop shot rig looks like though just rig it like a normal drop shot but with the tp bait twitch it down you'll get a slow rise off it super nice presentation okay the fifth way that you can rig your tp flame baits totally different presentation again and that's going to be the nico rig and the nico rig's a little bit different you have a nail weight this is one that i made from an old jig head um, you can obviously buy them tungsten's obviously better but yeah, like I said, this is just made from an old jig head. You have your TP lure and then you have a hook. Not this hook, you actually use a specific hook. I'll link some in the description um, that you hook through the middle of the bait like this. A lot smaller than this, like I say, this, this is not the hook um, that you would use. Just using this for the demonstration. So your bait would be hooked like so. Your nail weight goes in the bottom or in the mouth of the where you normally would have your jig head. So just shove that in there. Can be a little bit tricky on the TP, but just with how stretchy the material is. So got your nail weight in there, use this clear color so you can actually see that weight in there. And then how you present this, you'll cast it out like normal. The weight side will go down. So your bait will be presented like this. When you work the lure, it'll twitch it from the middle. So it'll give it a totally different action in the water again different fall rate you know a little bit of a slower fall rate because you're only using like one or two grams with this and ow just hooked myself <laughs> yeah like i said different action with the uh, nico rig super cool finesse rig especially if you're fishing pressured fish that have seen ned rigs seen texas seen drop shots seen all the presentations you know not that many people are throwing nico um actually adam sealer was the first person i saw using it um, ended up using it with him and like went from catching hard laney fish all day to like getting fish like every other cast it was like yeah really eye-opening i don't use it that much to be fair because a lot of places i fish a little bit too deep you know you're, like i said you're only using two or three grams but when it's really cold and you really need to finesse it down when you know the fish are there you're not getting bites definitely a rig to throw so yeah like i say use this with any style stick baits like your normal trds and stuff like that you don't have to ned rig those um, the Nico rig is a good one and like I say again this hook is not the hook you'd use this is just what I had for the demonstration um, use a lot smaller one because again if the hook's too heavy it'll bring the bait down and you'll ruin the presentation so it's always better to you know just stick it in a glass with the hook and the weight just to see how it actually sits and if it'll present right so um, yeah honorable mention as well obviously if you don't want to use the Texas rig when you're fishing weedless. You can use the Cheb rig, um, just the same. I, I personally don't like the Cheb rig. I just feel like, you know, you might as well use Texas in my opinion. Um, but yeah, that's that's it. Five different rigs, or maybe six if you include the, uh, the Cheb rig, um, to rig your TP baits. And again, different styles of TP baits. You've got your classic Z-Mans, you've got your thinner ones with your dangly tails tubes creature style ones but you know you can tr you can try pretty much all of them with all the different rigs that i've just showed so um yeah hope that's been helpful for some of you guys 
perch season is upon us, so hopefully some of you can put these methods into practice for, you know, your own perch fishing, catch some big monsters this uh, coming winter. So uh, yeah, all the stuff that you would need for all the different rigs, I'll link in the description. I'll sort of segment them down into different rigs and, you know, put the Ned heads, heads with the Ned rig stuff, etc. just so you can see what's happening. I'm kind of waffling again, like I do in every video, but yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. Like I said, I'm gonna go perch fishing now. So hopefully I can film a perch video to follow this one using some of the methods that I've just shown you guys. And uh, yeah, that's gonna do it. So uh, catch you in the next video.